So, Clive, a great win at the weekend. How pleased were you with the performance? I was very delighted and very, very proud of the boys. Uh, you know, we'd had a bit of a touch-up the week before up in uh, Newcastle, and it was a, a long six days before we had, we had to wait. Uh, and with the injury problems we had as well, you know, we were um, a bit patched up in certain areas, but everyone who took the field, uh, every single one of them, were, uh, were, were put in a heroic performance, really. Uh, against all the odds, and after going 7-0 down as well, so in essence it was 64-0 down after three minutes, and uh, you're thinking, wow, uh, how are the boys going to come back from there? So it just, it just shows how you know, the tough the boys are mentally then to, to overcome that deficit. And uh, to come from behind to beat a side, uh, they finished fourth last season, that jersey. Where does that result rank in your time wins at Castle Park? Well, it's up there definitely because, uh, you know, as I said, for all the reasons that we uh, we just spoke about going into the game. Uh, we were um, under the pump, really, and um, a lot of pressure on us to, to bounce back, to respond from the, the defeat up at Newcastle. Um, and we did do it in good style. We hung in there. We had a little bit of fortune early doors when they missed a chance, I think, on the right side over there. But, uh, you know, I think we full value for it in the end. We hung in there and, uh, yeah, didn't allow them to play the game too much. You know, they, they came with a lot of intent. and. Um, and we know we had to be on our, on our best to, uh, to to repel that. And uh, the side was hit with a number of injuries after the Newcastle game. What does it show for the strength and depth of the squad for, with people out of position and still be able to get the results? Well, not only the strength and depth, we've you know, we've gone up to uh, when we get everyone on board, we'll, we'll probably have about 36 in our squad. We've not reached that figure yet, we're on 32. Uh, that said, we know we had uh, John McPhillips on loan from um, Leicester Tigers, which we're very grateful for. And of course, we um, promoted Alan Hudson from the, the academy as well. So, uh, you, know, you know, we were, uh, as you say, when you look at that situation, uh, you know, um, how we saw we were in, cer in certain areas. So, all that in all, as I said, it was uh, a great turnaround and, and a much needed one. Uh, and as I said at the start, I'm absolutely delighted and proud of the boys, the way that they responded this week and um, came back fighting. And what's the injury news after Saturday and players going Well, back? a few niggles, we have to ch check on, but uh, there's nothing really serious to report this weekend, touch wood. And, uh, you know, we go into it with a, a, re a refreshed outlook now and a, and a winning outlook. Because um, the damn side better this week turning up than it was last week. So, um, we go down there, we know Hartbury will be very confident because <coughs> they've beaten us down there once before. However, the last time we were there, we, we turned it on and uh, and a, a very good win. Uh, so yeah, uh, we, we're not we're not take the, the likely for, for uh, and it's not anybody likely in this in this division. It's uh, it's just anybody can beat anybody on a given day. So uh, you know we'll treat them respect that we deserve, and um, as such, turn up with a you know a really determined attitude. And uh, as you say, this weekend we first half in the uh, first game in the league. Will the side be full of confidence now after the uh, Saturday? Well, as I said, it'd be a lot better than it was last week. Um, let's remember we've had uh, two out of three wins. Um, Newcastle are going to take some beating on their own patch. Um, it was a hell of a team they put out against us. And, uh, you know, you saw the quality they got. And that's going to happen with any team that comes down from the Premiership now with, with the players they, they retain and uh, the parachute payment they get. So it's always going to be a long afternoon. And remember, we've also had three good wins in pre-season as well. So, you know, the doom and gloom merchants are right on forums, you know. Um, you know, they do look at themselves as well, because it's not all doom and gloom, as they say. And, um, you know, I'm very, I'm very proud of what the progress we're making here.